Hey guys, Devin and Rick here back with another video. And today we're going to be doing a review on the Bandai 6 inch Ultraman King figure. Now, unfortunately, uh, this looks like it is going to be the second to last review of really anything that I got for Christmas or the holiday season because I don't know, it looks like uh, that period is ending. I thought it would last into March. You know, I was really wrong. Um, I guess, I don't know what happened. I just did the math all wrong. And so this is, and by the way, the next review would be on the the same model kit company, I think it actually is Bandai, that made the Stormtrooper model kit. That was really the first thing I reviewed after Christmas. And that would be the Darth Vader model kit. Thing is, I haven't built that, so I can't guarantee that that'll be the next review. Um, in other words, I, don't, can't, I can't guarantee it'll be next Monday's review. It could be the Monday after that or the Monday after that. We'll see. So this does look like for a while it might not might be the last one, but it isn't the last Christmas uh, related uh, toy to review. Anyhow, let's get back to reviewing this. So the pros on this thing, if I were to give easily the favorite thing that I like about this figure. Now keep in mind, by the way, although this is Bandai, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt that most Ultraman figures are done in the Spark Doll style, so just gonna say that right off the bat. But first things first, the first thing I like about this figure is the detail. Now the detail on this figure isn't, you know, amazing. I'd like to say it's slightly above average, but I really like the facial detail. I really feel like it's well, well done with all the lines coming in here, as we can see right here, the beard uh, detail, the mouth detail, the outer rim of the eye detail. You also have the same detail with these, you know, these, uh, these red marks all over the body, kind of like the lines in printed on the wrist and on the other wrist and I like the boot details and it looks like it's a real boot and you know, this is like uh, making it you know taller up his uh, legs and calves but that's not the point well it is kind of the point it has to do with detail but you also have detail here with these these um, kind of like polka dotted balls all around the um, the, the, the collar um, and so this is uh, this is really well done I mean it's not like I said it's not a high above detail like it is in some cases but overall i like to say it really does have an average uh it has a slightly above average detail amount so let's move on to the next thing about this figure now if you remembered what i said a while ago i said that i'll give this the benefit of the doubt that it kind of reminds me of a spark doll and what benefit does that give this figure it gives it the benefit that i'm going to allow its articulation to be plain old average just average because this is a bandai most bandais have at least well over four articulated joints but like i said most sparkulate most spark doll have uh, most spark dolls have three articulated joints and this is exactly what this has it has the waist the two arms and that's it that's it so i'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt that because it's ultraman i kind of characterize it's kind of like a spark doll bandai like figure so and because spark dolls have on average three articulated joints the articulation on this is average it is average i'm not going to go you know you know you know just picking on this just because it's just uh, a company and all that but yeah no it is it is it is average so uh, let's I'm gonna be generous with that so let's move on to the cons of this figure so when it comes to the cons of this figure, I really have two nitpicks and one big flaw, which is, before I even tell you the rate, it is going to lower the rate down by a lot. My biggest problem with this is the fact that it cannot stand. It cannot stand properly. Literally. In case you were wondering how it stood earlier, it's because you can't see it under the camera, but I literally have my fingers holding down the feet onto the ground surface, the set, that I'm using to film this review. So this is not, not good for standing up at all. And it's not voice crack, sorry. And it's not really one of those things that you can kind of position in the way that it can't stand it, literally, in almost, I think all, like, because the feet are just kind of, what, 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 what it does is that it kind of leans it back a bit. So then it just does this. You can't, you know, watch the pixie. You know what I mean? So the articulation on, or not the articulation on this, um, the, the, the way in which it stands is not good. Not at all. It's my, it's my major flaw. For the two nitpicks, they're really quite simple. Uh, in case you were wondering why didn't Evan talk about the paint job and the pros, that's because the pro, you know, strange enough that this, this rarely happens, but it's because, strangely enough, the paint job is not even a pro. It's not even average. I say that because there is tons of scuffs on this figure. I, I'm, I've been lucky enough to get plenty of used figures that actually are just saved from having scuffs, but this has a fair amount of scuffs to say that the paint job on this really doesn't deserve to be in the pro line. It deserves more to be in the con line. But because it's not like a whole streak of paint messed up and it's only a little bit of scuffs, that's why it's a nitpick uh, uh, con. But it's not going to be a full-on pro. But you can see this paint scuffs right here, like, you know, these black marks. You can see stuff on the back here. You know, it's, it's really quite, it makes you really feel like this figure isn't really well made. Uh, or at least because it was used, the previous owner didn't really do a good job at holding on to it. 
Last nitpick is the fact that I feel like this figure is a little bit too robotic. You could call me crazy because the Ultraman Spark Doll, the Ultraman A Spark Doll, Ultraman Father Spark Doll, they all really feel kind of robotic with their arms, but because this is a Bandai and because it's slightly bigger, you can really get that vibe more so, and that vibe isn't a good one. It feels like this is just not really a very movable figure. Like, I mean, I don't know, just the fight, you know, like just punching, punching. I don't know, I mean, I guess if you did camera angles, certain camera angles it would benefit, but overall, it's way too robotic for me, just the way this is just, I get it's supposed to be like this, you know, tall figure, but still. Um, either way though, I am gonna rate this figure an 8.3 out of 10. If all these issues were fixed, which by the way, I think lean more on the previous owner's fault because this is a used figure, then you'd be seeing this be a 9 out of 10, maybe an 8.7 out of 10, something way higher than 8.3. But you get the idea, I can't do that because of the condition in which it's in. I'd still recommend getting it because I'm sure there's figures in better condition than this that are the exact same figure. But still, aside from that point, I really hope you enjoyed this review. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later and bye-bye.